It's now time for your Texas Oncology kickoff. Kickoff is fielded by Lane, stepping out of bounds at the 30 yard line. The Bruins will begin first and 10 from their own turn. Pass is complete to Hyman. Tackle made by Adam Mitchell in second down. Pass is complete to Dylan Allison. Tackle made by Jacqueline Morgan. It's now third and four. Play action. Quarterback Pfizer out of the pocket, rolling left, pressure coming. He's sacked all the way back at the 25 yard line. Big time defensive play by number 32 for Legacy, and that's Jack Janis, the linebacker. Well, here we go. What a nice job of penetration. This is our fourth, first fourth down, and it's fourth and really long. Yeah, right? and you're not going to be looking for a punt here. They're going to go for it. They have fourth and 11 at their own 29 yard line, and they are going to go for it. And that's what they do three wide outs to the right side, two to the left, and Pfizer. Gets the snap back, rolls to his left. He'll fire it downfield, and it's incomplete. And Lee gets the stop as the pass was caught out of bounds by Jalen Witcher. And Lee's going to take over with fantastic field position. With 10-15 to go here in the first quarter, they're going to get the ball at the Paluxy 29-yard line as legacy. Well, that's a huge stop on third down, a big sack of the quarterback to put them way behind the chains. And again, they don't punt the football, so good, nice job of turn it over on downs by the legacy defense. And so we'll get the offense set up for you. Trent Adams is the quarterback. They've got a tight formation, shifting over to the left side now, and a running back lined up on the right-hand side. Adams with a low snap, picks it up, hands it off. Running back sweeping to the left. He'll get inside and really no gain on the play. Good pursuit by the defense, and it was... Je Jamar, check that Bryson Donnell, who was pursued and knocked out of bounds. And their offensive line is Cade Fry at center, the guards Keyshawn Reggie and Kendrick Tuck, the tackles Donovan Reggie and Deion Daniels. We'll check the rest of the offense in just a moment. Bunch formation to the left side on the short side of the field. Man in motion goes to the far side. Back to throw Adams. Adams fires it. Man open. It's caught. No, incomplete. He couldn't hang on to it. Uh, the ball was thrown, and the diving catch was made, and then it couldn't hang on to it. And I believe that was number six. Was that number four? Donnell, Miller. Number four. Okay, and that was Jamarian Miller. They were both in the neighborhood, and the ball was right there. Man was open. That was a great pass on a deep post route. Miller made a diving attempt, good attempt, but not able to hold on to it. So here we are with third down and twelve. At the Pulaski 31-yard line, man in motion to the near side. Adams trying to set up a screen, has to get rid of it. It's picked off. It's picked off by the defensive lineman, and he's brought down, and that is number 30, the outstanding linebacker for Pulaski, Azarius Woods. And I don't know where Adams was throwing the ball, but he threw it right between the numbers, and Woods picked it off, and Pulaski gets the first turnover. Well, Adams felt the pressure, and he felt a lot of that last week as well. This time he forced a bad pass, a throw bad pass, and turned it over. So Pulaski's going to start first and 10 at their own 42-yard line. 
second possession of the ball game. And they spread five wide. Quarterback dumps it underneath to Jalen Witchell. Witcher, rather, and he gets out of bounds after picking up the first down at the 46-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Defensively, on the line for Legacy, Garfield, Lawrence, and Donovan Jordan are the ends. Jaden Williams is the nose guard. We'll check the linebackers. They move fast on offense. First and 10, handoff, up the middle, nowhere to go. Joe Hyman brought down. Good defense there. And it's going to be Jack Janis, Josh Oliveris, Carson Gallagher and Aaron Sears, the linebackers, the corners, Adam Mitchell, Jacqueline Morgan, KJ Umber, and Caden Starks out of the safeties. It's second down and nine with 8.59 to go, first quarter. No score. Pulaski has the ball in lead territory at the 45 yard line. Three wide to the right side. Ball's in the middle of the field. Pfizer, straight drop back. Looks deep, now throws it out in the flat to his running back. And he gets out of bounds just ahead of the first down marker. Should be called out of bounds at about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of 11 yards and a first down, and the catch was made by Hyman. Yeah, Red Raiders didn't get any press on Brunson. Too much time to sit back there and, and, and survey the field and find a receiver open. First and 10 now with 8.37 to go in the first quarter. No score. Pfizer. And gets a big gain to the 13-yard line. Catch was made by Joe Hyman again coming out of the backfield. And the ball is going to be marked at the 13-yard line. And that's a 23-yard gain for Pulaski. Yeah, so far in this possession, the Bruins are making it look easy. Wide open receivers, including backside of the backfield for first downs. 8 11 to go here in the first quarter. No score, but Pulaski in the red zone. At the 13-yard line, three wide to the left. Pfizer, check that. Locations, more choices, more convenience. Peters Pre-Owned now has two locations to serve East Texas. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview and the all-new Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. The largest inventory of trucks, cars, motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides in all of East Texas. Shop our inventory on either website to see all our inventory and take advantage of our nationwide free delivery. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview. Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. More locations, more choices, more convenience. Start your week off right with some of our tastiest deals. Enjoy our $9.99 endless enchiladas on Mondays, our $8.49 fajita fest on Wednesdays, plus so much more. Our weekday deals make every day a fiesta. Enjoy these sizzling deals at your local on the border. Many kinds of hardships affect East Texans. Value Life on KETK News and EastTexasMatters.com offers solutions for our community. Stay informed with Value Life on KETK News and EastTexasMatters.com. Presented by the Monsoor Law Firm. An obvious face man as he was snatched down those uh, on his back. Sheffy, Sheffy was the defender that went back and hit him, and apparently grabbed that face mask and brought him down. And the flag went down immediately. So that's going to be a tough penalty for Legacy. They look like they might be able to get off the field here. Yep, and so that's going to be an automatic first down, and it's going to put the ball inside the uh, five-yard line, half the distance. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll spot it at the six. Yeah, good position to make a play. Just grab the face mask. That's the face mask. So it's first and goal now from the seven yard line. Pulaski threatening with their first score of the night. Hyman is lined up behind Pfizer in this bunch formation. Play action. Pfizer throws it out to Hyman at the five. He's tackled. No, into the end zone. Touchdown, Pulaski. Number nine, Jacqueline Morgan had him but couldn't keep him out of the end zone. 
The legacy receivers are just going to make that linebackers a little late covering the back out of the backfield from time and time again so far early in this ballgame. Just late that time to Hyman. And now we see them going for two here. As is their knack. Pfizer looks left side. Ball caught. Yes, sir. It was a low throw, but it was picked up off the ground by Jalen Witcher. He was able to make the grab, and the try for two is good. And Pulaski leads it over Tyler Legacy. Eight to nothing with 7.07 to go. We'll be back in one minute on 92.1 FM, the team. We are firing on all cylinders at RJ Traders in Longview and racing past the competition. We've got the parts and same day service to get you back burning up the track fast. Cargo mate, pace, text line, diamond seat. All of our trailers are manufactured right here in Texas, so check out our huge inventory of Texas built trailers. Let us green light you a great deal. RJ Trailers Longview and online at rjtrailers.com. We got the hookup. More locations, more choices, more convenience. Peters Pre-Owned now has two locations to serve East Texas. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview and the all-new Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. The largest inventory of trucks, cars, motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-sides in all of East Texas. Shop our inventory on either website to see all our inventory and take advantage of our nationwide free delivery. Peters Pre-Owned Center in Longview. Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. More locations, more choices, more convenience. Back to action to Rose Stadium where Pulaski has just scored 8 to nothing. Uh, Kevin Simon, the details of the drive following an onside kick that was covered by Legacy at the 49-yard line. Eight plays, 58 yards, 2 minutes and 23 seconds. Hyman with the touchdown reception for the Bruins. So Legacy comes out now trailing by 8. Last time they had the ball, they threw an interception that by to Azarius Woods. So they start at their own 49-yard line. A sweep left, getting to the 50, still spinning. At the 48-yard line is Bryson Donnell. Good job out there by number 14, Jalen McKinney. They gave him a five-yard gain, though, and it's a second down and five in Pulaski territory at the 46-yard line. Balls at the near hash mark. Back to throw Adams. Rolling pressure, trying to set up a screen. Throws the ball high and out of reach of Donnell. Incomplete. Yeah, just more pressure that time from the backside on Adams. Again, we saw a lot of this last week in Longview forced yet another bad pass. And my correction, that was intended for uh, Jamarian Miller. So it's third down and six now for the Raiders. Three wide to the near side, short side of the field. And now hand it off up the middle, and he gets into the secondary. He's still going at the 30-yard line where he's finally knocked off his feet. And that's a first down, and it's Miller that made the gain all the way to the 29-yard line. That's a 16-yard gain for Miller, and right up to the line of scrimmage they come. First and ten. Legacy Red Raiders. That was a touchdown saving tackle by Cameron Mercer. One more broken tackle, and Miller would have found himself in the end zone. George Burkfeld goes in motion to the right side. A little bit of confusion with the formation with six minutes to go in the first quarter. Snap back. Adams gets hit from the blind side back at the 36 yard line. He never had a chance blown up back there by Fuda Shinkawa, the linebacker for Pulaski Academy. And yeah, we talk about this again, the inability to protect the quarterback, another big hit put on Adams, who has already felt a lot of heat early in his game. Loss of five on the play. It's second down and 15 with 5.23 to play in the first quarter. Man in motion to the near side. It's a jet sweep. Fumble on the play, and it's going to be picked up and recovered by Pulaski. Azarius Woods had the interception earlier. Gets the turnover on a fumble recovery this time. Back-to-back yeah, -back possessions, two possessions, two turnovers for Legacy. One interception, and now a fumble. Not a good way to start your first quarter with two turnovers and trailing eight to nothing. 
Pulaski will take over at their own 40-yard line with 5.14 remaining here in the first quarter, and they're up 8 to nothing. Twin wide receivers on either side. Ball's on the far hash mark on first and 10. Pfizer, one step drop back. Now to try to throw it to the sideline, incomplete. Bounced it in front of Jalen Witcher. That's good coverage by Legacy. Tried to hit Witcher on a wheel route, underthrown, but pretty good coverage as well. Second down and 10 from the 40. Again, double wide receivers on either side. And a handoff right up the middle and into the secondary for a good gain. Goes number six, Joe Hyman, before he's finally brought down. Carson Gallagher, Jack Janice in on the stop. And it's a gain to the 47-yard line for seven yards. So that makes it third down and three. The Bruins on the move. Yeah, it's a little stutter step by Hyman. Bought himself some time to get upfield. Just throws the linebackers long enough to get the extra yardage. Three wide receivers lined up on the left side this time. Empty backfield behind Pfizer. And he'll do a quarterback draw. Gets to the 50, across to the 49. He got the first down. Had everybody spread out. Looks like he's going to throw the football. Just takes the snap and goes right up the middle. Yeah, that's Pfizer just reading the, the legacy defense. Found a pick the spot, found a hole, got the first down. They're in lead territory at the 49-yard line with 413 to play in the first quarter. Again, empty backfield. Three wide to the left, two to the right. Ball's on the far hash mark. The short side of the field is where the three wide receivers are. And Pfizer steps back, fires to the left side. Short pass, caught by Joe Hyman coming out of the backfield. Good defense out there on the far side. Oliveras made the tackle on the play. That's a better job defending Hyman. Hyman is running free for most of this uh, early part of the game. Good job there, though. Second down and seven. Ball at the legacy 46-yard line. And again... Now just a quick middle screen thrown out to Hyman. Hyman gets across the 40. He's still on his feet, gets the first down at the 36-yard line. Well-designed play by Pulaski. The tackle made by number 34 for Legacy, Jeremiah Sheffy. But it's a first down for Pulaski with 312 to play in the first quarter. And the ball at the 36-yard line of Legacy. Yeah, Hyman was slowed down by an official. Otherwise, he's probably going to get more yardage on the play. Well-designed Good execution. On the first down play now, they've got the running back lined up on the left side of Pfizer, the quarterback. Pumps now fires it deep, well overthrown, intended for Jalen Wiltshire, and uh, his ball was thrown 10 yards over his head, no chance. In the double coverage, so a good job by Legacy's uh, defensive backfield on that play. Coverage on the play back there by Liam I'm sorry, by number 12, Caden Starks. Second down and 10, 2.48 to play, first quarter. Eight to nothing, Pulaski on top. Pfizer back to throw, rolls to his left, looks to his left, fires, sideline, ball's caught by Wiltshire. Wiltshire, rather, and he steps out of bounds. Looked like a pro throw, an out route. Out of bounds right at, at the 23-yard line. It's a dash to the left side. Nice pass by Pfizer on the play. Found a soft spot in that legacy zone for another first down. 13-yard gain. First down for the Bruins. They lead 8 to nothing. 2.43 to play here in the first quarter. So far, it's been all Pulaski as far as they've had the ball nearly the entire quarter. Two turnovers in the first quarter by Legacy. Four wide outs lined up on the right side this time for Pulaski. Pfizer under pressure. He'll go down. He's sacked. The big man. And that's going to be number 55, Jaden Williams, the nose guard that got him. Dropped him all the way back to the 31-yard line. So check that to the 29. Loss of seven on the play. Yeah, Red Raiders going to have to do a whole lot more of that throughout the night if they're going to have success. Good pressure. And a nice tackle once he got in position. 
2-12, clock continues to run in the first quarter. Four wide go to the left side this time. And Pfizer, in what would look like a passing formation, looks to his left, fires out there to his left, almost intercepted by number three, Adam Mitchell, who jumped the route and almost was able to pick it off. He got his hands on the ball, but couldn't get it, bring it in. A great break on the ball, but you've got to catch that. It's an, probably a pick six, a six if he catches the football. Good break, but you've got to complete the play. Intended for Zach Biagiani, the tight end for Pulaski. So now it's third down and 17 of the ball at the 29-yard line. Empty backfield. And Pfizer with the snap, looks over the middle, stands, rolls to his right, running, now fires the ball back across the middle of the field. Man open in the end zone, touchdown, Nick Geisel. Boy, he did a great job of buying some time with his feet, but there's a flag back on the play, down at around the 28-yard line. They're going to bring it back. Looks probably an illegal receiver downfield, and the quarterback has that much time. Did a good job to find an open receiver. It is. Yep, ineligible receiver, and that goes against Pulaski, so take that touchdown off the board. Yeah, that's a huge break for the Red Raiders, but man, they have to do a better job in coverage. They just simply let the receiver go at the back of the end zone for an easy touchdown pass. Won't count. Uh, they get another chance here. So they move the ball back to the 34-yard line. Now it is third down and 22. For Pulaski, I just realized I can see the numbers better on this monitor than I can <laughs> in the field. <laughs> Pulaski with that empty backfield, three wide to the left, two to the right. Pfizer, one step drop, fires over the middle, it's picked off, intercepted. Legacy with the, the turnover, Josh Oliveris. With the interception. It's a nice job by Oliveris to hold on to the football. It hit him right in the chest. Again, quarterback tried to throw in the double coverage. Oliveris was in position and came away with the interception. Nice job. That turns Pulaski back, and that uh, now the first turnover for the Bruins. And Legacy with the ball with 137 to go and trailing 8 to nothing. They're at their own 25-yard line. They'll hand it off and get a short gain to about the 32-yard line. Donnell was the man who carried it, picked up three, second down and seven. Woods was the tackler. Fred Raiders have to get their running game going again. They struggle to throw the football in back-to-back weeks. Sending a man in motion to the far side. Now they'll hand it off up the middle, and he gets a good burst, got, finds a hole, gets to about the 30-yard line. Looked like he might get more on it. Ended up with only a two-yard gain. Good defense by Pulaski, and the tackle made by Shinkawa. Yeah, I think Miller probably made a mistake in trying to run sideways instead of getting upfield. I think had he got upfield, he got it, would have gotten a couple extra yards. So the ball's at the 30-yard line with 41 seconds remaining. And a handoff was to Donnell. Check that Miller. I'm sorry, it was a Wildcat snap directly to him. Rolled to his right. Got a couple of yards on the play. It's going to be fourth down and two. And Joe Willis is not Kevin Kelly. Kelly, I don't think. Well, they're going to keep the offense. At least it looks like they are. Maybe. Well, they may just let the clock run yeah. out and go to the end of the uh, first quarter. We'll see what happens. They got fourth and two here. Clock is at five. They're going to run a play, and he's going to run. And I don't think he's going to make the first down. Wow, what a gamble! They gave the ball to Jamarian Miller, and Pulaski stopped him. After a gain of about one, they needed two for the first down. Pulaski's going to take the ball. That's the end of the first quarter. Our score after one is Pulaski Academy 8, Tyler Legacy nothing. Back in one minute on 92.1 FM, the team. <laughs> 